This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. This screencast is the solutions to exercise one, which was all about doing basic calculations in MATLAB. So hopefully you've explored some of the different areas of the MATLAB desktop and you've tried some simple calculations in the command window. So what you have to be careful with with question three is bracketing expressions and ensuring that you use brackets in the right places so that MATLAB performs the arithmetic operations in the right order. So the first expression we have here is 2 to the power of 5 divided by 2 to the power of 5 minus 1. And we have another expression that we're told to compare that with which in actual fact is the same expression just written in a slightly different way. So we've got 1 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power of 5, and that's all raised to the power of minus 1. And you'll see we get the same answer. So the third expression is using the sqrt function, which performs the square root. And it's the square root of 5 minus 1 divided by the square root of 5 plus 1, all squared. So before we move on to question 4, we're just going to use the clc command to clear up the command window. And that just clears the command window of the previous commands that we've entered. It's always useful to do that before you start a new question or example. So the first part of question 4 was to perform e to the power of 3. And that's done in MATLAB by using the exp function. We're then asked to take the natural logarithm of e to the 3. And the natural logarithm in MATLAB is simply log. So this would be log e to the power of 3. Now we're asked to perform log 10 e to the power of 3, which is simply log 10. And then log 10, 10 to the power of 5. Question 5 is all about trigonometric operations. And you should remember that whenever you perform a trigonometric operation in MATLAB, the argument should always be in radians. So the first one is sine pi over 6, and we use the built-in pi function to get pi. Then we have cos pi, Oops, tan pi over 2, and lastly sine squared pi over 6 plus cos squared pi over 6. And sine and cos squared are simply sine all squared, and that's plus cos pi over 6 all squared. And you'll spot the deliberate mistake here, that should be pi divided by 6, not pi divided by 2. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.